All right, guys, it takes much time to determine the quantities of different materials and different civil engineering structures. However, if you are using AutoCAD and if you know about this functionality called volume, you can do that in seconds. Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and you're watching The Engineer Boy. Okay, so in this video, we'll be just calculating the volume of different 3D geometric shapes by using this functionality. You can access this functionality by typing volume in the command bar. When you type volume, then press enter. Now AutoCAD is asking to select the object. Let me just select this helix. It has already been selected. As you can see, one found has already been appeared there in the command bar. Now, if you don't know what to do, look at the command bar. AutoCAD is asking to select objects. We have already selected that, so press enter. When you enter, as you can see, we got a dialog box having different mass properties related to that object. But our focus is actually the volume. Just look at the volume that is actually in cubic inches. You can also convert that into different other units like cubic meter, maybe cubic feet, etc. Okay, you can also access this functionality from the home tab, then utilities panel, and there we have volume. Now AutoCAD is asking to specify the first corner, but we are not specifying the corner. As you can see, we have different other options. Let me just click this object. Now AutoCAD is asking to select the object. I'm going to select this cylinder. Now, as you can see, just look at the command bar. The volume is 1248044 cubic inches, and that's been done. Okay. You can also access this functionality if you type mass and then property. You can also just type prop, that means mass properties. Press enter. Now, let's just calculate the brickwork or maybe the blank work of the first floor. I'm going to select this first floor. This is actually a huge calculation for a quantity surveyor and maybe multiple plugin chugging in Excel, okay? I'm not doing that, AutoCAD is gonna give you the direct volume. Without those uh, window subtraction, without those door subtraction, okay? You're gonna do that manually in Excel, okay? Maybe uh, that's gonna take you much time applying different formula, subtraction, addition. We are not doing that here. AutoCAD is gonna do that in second and subtract all those things, okay? Which we don't want to include because this is just a union, okay? So the first floor has been selected. You can also select the second floor as well, does not matter. I'm going to press enter and just look at here, okay? The volume is actually that thing. That is in cubic inches. If you need to convert that into cubic feet, you can do that. Just copy that and just type calculator here and that's your calculator, okay? Paste it here and now just divide that by uh, maybe 12 one time, maybe 12 again, maybe 12 again. Okay, so three times because that is just volume. The volume is actually 1631 CFT. That's so simple, right? So this is how we can use this functionality and it is really amazing time saver. Okay, see you in the next video.